don't hire a real estate agent unless you know they have these three skills. So for a seller, you want to make sure that they can explain the process to you without using just big words and that they're willing to have conversations until you understand every part of that listing agreement because they have recently changed and the wording and how we do things has changed. Second of all, I want you to verify their marketing skills because everybody that comes to your house is going to tell you, I am an expert marketer. I want you to say, send me your top three examples and let's see what they send you. Of course, we're willing to do that too. And third, I want you to make sure that they're not just promising you that they can get this high dollar amount for your house unless they can explain why they think they can get that. Now, this comes into play like the other day, we went on a listing appointment and we priced the house and he said, I'm going to get another agent's opinion. And I said, okay, that's perfectly fine. The other agent came in $50,000 higher. It did not close $50,000 higher. It closed for less than we recommended. We could have sold it for more.